Okay, good morning. So, um, I'm Dirk and today I'm here in Brussels and what this is, this day is one of the craziest experiences in my whole business career. As you might know, I'm writing car sharing software and we have a quite large car sharing server system where we serve the software to some dozens of customers and around 10,000 cars and more than 100,000 users of all our software. And this cluster runs on a MySQL 5.7 database. And um, as you might know, MySQL 5.7 is end of life and we have to do something. And we decided to switch over to MariaDB. And um, there was that blog post of the MariaDB guys who asked for a guinea pig for a live migration from MySQL to MariaDB for their FOSDEM event. And I wrote them and they wrote me back and they told me they were very happy if we could do that. And uh, Monty Bidinius himself will support and help with this migration. And so I'm here in Brussels today heading to the hotel where this event starts and then we'll start this crazy thing. We'll migrate our primary production master cluster from MySQL to MariaDB live on stage and live during production service. It will be very interesting to see whether this really works or we get a problem. Either way, there'll be quite a reason for me to drink some alcohol in the evening. So let's see what the day brings. And uh, the, the rest is about what we have done uh, as part of this migration. So I will continue after we have done the live migration. So the word is yours. Okay. Should I get some napkin to get away your sweat? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Yes, okay. Um, first question goes to Hannover, which is here in the video in the video conference with me. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up, great. Okay, um, great. So now we have the video on screen. And if it's okay for you, I take seat here and don't walk around because I have to type here on the on the computer nevertheless. And, and, and I need to sit here because if something goes wrong and, and I sit there, he'll like, yeah, 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 that would be very, very helpful actually. Okay. Um, what we are now trying to do, or no, what we are going to do now is a live migration of Kantarman's primary database cluster, or as we say it, uh, we go from MySQL 5.7 to MariaDB 10.11 in under 10 minutes. And uh, my name is Dirk Hilbrecht. I am from Kantarman. I'm one of the co-founders of the company. I'm one of the system architects at the company, and I'm the initial developer of the whole system that we are talking here about. This is the original setup where we have the application server, IMAR, we have the primary master, ALA, we'll see it just in a minute, and the two primary slaves, Havel and Saale. We have a secondary slave, Neckar, connected to this primary master, and the ternary slaves over there. And this whole thing has been MySQL 5.7. So what was the first stage? The first stage was that we added a new slave to the primary cluster. This new slave, line D, then was that the first one that we actually um, converted or migrated to MariaDB, that was together with Monty, uh, just to see whether these things work and whether this thing actually replicates in our cluster. And then, as we have to have, all slaves have to be migrated before their master can be migrated. So we had to start at the bottom of this whole, uh, of this whole setup with the ternary slaves to migrate them to MariaDB, then the secondary slave, and then the other slaves in the primary cluster, so that everything but the primary master is now, this is the current situation we have, is now on MariaDB, and then, we even went one stage further. We selected our new primary master, the future master node, which actually will be Saale. And um, we started changing the whole, um, uh, the whole uh, scene of this cluster so that this primary slave 
is already the master of everyone else but the current primary master. So that we have our new scheme, our, our new replication scheme almost finished. The only thing that is missing is now that we have to change the application server from the master ala to the master sale, take ala offline for this, and that's what we do now. And once this is finished, just to mention it, the final step will be to convert ALA also to MariaDB and connect it to Saale as master. And um, this is the overall idea what we're going to do now. We will shut down the application. We will shut down the former primary master. Then we'll change the DB master alias, which is in DNS and in the etc host file of our application uh, system. Um, look that everything works and then we restart the application so and now I think comes the slide which I'm a bit which I'm a bit of fear of now it's time for action I do have one question yeah you said that uh, the master is doing all the queries so do we send any queries to the slaves we do not send any queries to the slave apart from the replication so the slaves only get uh, the, 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 the insert and update statements. So, and now I have a very nice message here that the network connection is lost. Thomas, what do you have? I'd like to introduce my colleague Thomas, by the way, who sits there in the, in the corner and who is the second person here in place. But the, the network just came back. Also, Thomas, we can't dich hören, but Dirk, uh, in the last minute, the network is here. We have the network here. Yeah, so cool. I, I saw that it is a bit flaky, but Thomas I think it will work. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the theory? But Dirk, we can't hear you. The what? The room ID filter. The feature on the optimizer switch is called room ID filter. There is 80% chance that the workload will break without this parameter. Okay. Uh, Sergey, do you know anything? But the thing is that we are, we are, they are running with 10.6. Uh, if, for example, in DBS, no, they have no issues. They don't have any problem. Maybe it's a, it's a no luck issue, but uh, I, I have uh, many clients uh, reporting that to me. Uh, I, have you done a bug report and filled it? Okay, my suggestion would be as follows. But the way of adding, one, adding one option in, in a config file just takes a couple of seconds. Is this a dynamic or a static option? Dynamic. dynamic. Okay, then my suggestion is the following. We start with the setup that we have. You are the one who knows how to detect this kind of problems. And if you detect the problem, we'll make the switch. I have everything on here and then we can switch this, um, this parameter. Okay. Okay. Just in theory, could you make the upgrades back from primary server to the slaves? Monty and I talked about this yesterday in the evening. Do we have a disaster recovery strategy? Um, this is difficult due to this replication direction thing. But, um, and the only possible scenario that we think why we would have to go for such a disaster recovery is that um, we have unforeseen performance issues. This is just what you said. If needed, we would go to the unknown procedure and that is that we have this ALA server which we switched off and which is just sitting there and which is still MySQL. We would bring that um, we would bring that back online as a slave to our, to our MariaDB master then let it catch up the replication and then stop things and switch back to that one as master so that we could continue um, with MySQL as primary master. And then we would have to fix everything up and uh, try again. And I really hope that this doesn't happen and I'm very confident that it doesn't happen. And now we'll see, won't we? Okay. So, die Frage an Hannover, hört ihr mich? Ja. Gut, dann legen wir los. Äh, jetzt ähm, schon, aber bitte beachte, wir hören dich. Also jetzt witzigerweise gerade, aber in den letzten 20 ja, ich Minuten hab jetzt haben wir das die höchsten 10%. Auf. 
Alles klar. Ich müsste jetzt besser zu hören sein. Ich würde euch jetzt auch nochmal den Bildschirm freigeben, dass ihr seht, was passiert. So. Und um, and now I continue. I, it might be that I switch between German and English a bit, so that I, when I talk to my colleagues in Germany. But um, we have a script which you see here on the, uh, on the right side. This is our application. This is actually... This is actually the um, master class. Thomas, im Notfall musst du die Person sein, die uns sagt, ne? Ja, mach ich. And now we have a flaky internet. I look at my internet master. There we are again, okay? Mm -hmm. Actually, Dirk, wir hören dich gar nicht. Hä? Das ist jetzt noch schlimmer. Jetzt ist er rausgeflogen. Okay. Thomas, ähm, hast du den Sichtkontakt zu Dirk eigentlich? Sichtkontakt, ja. Okay. Now everything is now the, now the internet is completely lost at my at my system. This is not what we. Okay. Uh, can we can we use the hotel pay for internet? This pretty stable one. I suggest we use the other. Try try the new hotel. Okay. Thomas, can it be that it's more sense that we're on your console? But we also have a fast option. Dirk, it's erstmal nicht im Internet wenn ich das richtig deute. Okay. Ist er per WLAN oder per Kabel? Per Hotspot. Per Hotspot über sein Diensthandy? Nee, von jemandem anders. Ein MariaDB-Mitarbeiter. So, what do I have to do? Click there. Und wie bist du? Die Umstellung erfolgt über einen Mobilfunk-Hotspot. Also Dirk wird die Befehle mhm. geben über ja. dies, diese Mobilfunk-Hotspot-Verbindung. Mhm. Okay. Okay. Aber Thomas, deine Verbindung scheint wesentlich besser zu sein. Also wie vom Hotel, ja. Okay. Warum habt ihr euch entschieden, dass Dirk das nicht über Hotel macht? Das kann ich dir nicht sagen. Das hatten wir aber gestern schon ausprobiert und das lief gestern okay. Okay. problemlos. Okay. Ja, ich kann nur sagen, wir sind gerade blind. Mhm. Mhm. Was macht denn Dirk jetzt, überhaupt? Jetzt wieder. Jetzt verbindet er sich. Ist er wieder auf Allah mhm. verbunden? Ja. Aber macht es das Sinn, dass derjenige das This macht? Works das better. Okay. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, I will just. Okay. Thomas, was passiert da gerade? Erstmal nichts. Also, okay, zeigt so. I have to see what happens with Allah. my colleagues in Hanover. I think I'm disconnected. What does heißt? I can now try to reconnect. Okay. Here we are again. Kommt okay. Uh, we have Dirk, just switched internet da. connections hm. for my colleagues in Hanover and this looks much better Dein now. Ist gestellt, Dirk, um, yeah, okay. The nice thing is that this happened before we actually started anything. So nobody really noticed a part of you and you won't tell. 
Okay, we are coming back online and this is a good thing. So you now can see what's happening. This is our main application. We have three windows with the two server components on the left and the incoming Apache um, on the right. So this is what actually happens on our application where all the customers are logging in. Then we have our current primary master, which is the, the system ALA. You see the name here and where we have MySQL uh, handling the requests and you see that we are around 25 to sometimes 40,000 queries per second which the server currently serves. This is our new master to be, Saale, which is still on hold or is, um, is idling and only replicating and um, these are actually the systems where we will uh, operate on. And here on the right, you see our plan, what we do. I hope you can at least somehow read it. Um, and I look at Thomas. You think that everything can go on now, that we can start now? Yes. Thomas says yes. So then what I will do now is, and of course I had prepared this here and I will use the prepared statements. I will issue this um, request now, which will actually issue a countdown message on our application and says in 300 seconds this application is halted. I will additionally prepare to halt that secondary server that we have in our application uh, um, uh, manually. And then, so that we see how things work and that things, um, uh, that we are not flooded with queries as soon as everything comes up again, I will also halt the Apache front end, uh, the, the front end proxy of the system uh, once we have halted everything so that things um, um, go on board. So, and uh, to, to have a look, at the script, Thomas, watch with me, and Udo in Germany, please prepare to switch the DNS once we are at that stage. Um, um, the important thing is that we will then will halt, oh, you can't see this, okay. But we will halt the MySQL on Allah, which is the one which is just running here. What we actually will do here is uh, we will pick up the master state of the Saale system. And we will also perform some tests um, where we will see whether things really work. And one of these tests will, um, will use the um, Havel cluster. Thomas, please have the countdown in, in view and give me a sign so that I do not miss once our customers are locked off the systems. Um, so we have here the, the, we will see here that the replication actually works. And here we are and we are 100, this is the, the number is here on the very low right, this countdown number. Um, this is not very fancy of course because usually I do it at my office um, due for usual system updates and I think this has never been presented to anyone. Uh, before, apart from people in our company, actually. So, two minutes to go. Um, and actually, we are also... Yes, one question. What is the DNS TTL? The DNS TTL is, I think, two or three minutes, but we will change the, the name also in the local ETC host file of the, of the application server. And of course, we'll test that this really comes through at the very moment. Did you check that the, the, the system is configured to, to, to first look up in the Yes, app? yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And even if not, by the way, if we totally screwed this up as we will halt the old master, the only thing that happens is that it can't connect. It will not destroy the data. This is the important thing. So, <laughs> 20, 70 seconds to go.
Do you have some graphs uh, that show the connections, number of connections, the existing primary and the... Actually, we only have it here in the my, my top, and we can see that we currently have um, 26,000 queries per second and 190. 139 threads open and these are actually all from our um, from our application That's the, new one or the, old one? the old one still the old one the, uh, the new one is just idling around here um, here with with seven threads and this is all based on this replication stuff so 27 seconds to go and this is the moment where I fire up these additional systems. So, no, no, I haven't yeah. typed in. I just disabled this. <laughs> and so, some six seconds before I will start shutting down that one. One, zero. So, now the system is um, still waiting for everyone to finish their operations. They have 20, there are 30 more seconds for them to do. There is one handle still working. This might be some background process or whatever. And now that handle is also gone. And the countdown should come to an end soon now. So I do now also stop the Apache so that no one can log in. So we are offline. Um, and now we start on the ALA server. We see that all connections are gone. We have only six more threads here. And the first thing that we do here is to shut it down. We do it on the shell and we say system control stop MySQL. So this might take some seconds because it has to write, of course, the InnoDB files. We have a, we have a fast InnoDB shutdown. This error. Uh, in this time, in, as we do not change to MariaDB at this moment, we have uh, the fast shutdown. Nevertheless, it will take some seconds um, to shut the server down as it has to write stuff. Yeah. Um, in parallel, as this is, um, as I can, it is finished. That's yeah. great. So I do not have to do it in parallel. But I will now also disable it that even if the system reboots for an unknown reason, this MySQL will not be started anymore. The other thing is now the Zale server. On Zale, I will stop the slave thread because there is nothing it can um, it can replicate anymore from. And now this is very important. I have to record this file and position and it is locked in a file so I can just forget about it and we have it here on camera, etc. <laughs> Now, to see that replication to the client, to the, to, 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 to the slaves still work, I will just issue a command here on the shell. This is the command. I have now, um, I have now activated, I've now um, created this database REPL test and I will look on one of the replicas whether it has been replicated and it has been replicated. So this worked. Um, now we go onto our, um, we, go, we go onto our um, application server and I already have the etc hosts file here and of course it is still in the old internet connection so I just have to reconnect. Um, um, yes, <laughs> edit anyway. Um, that on one of the replicas of that new of that new master, my square was done. You are right. We just uh, we are just very confident that there was no shutdown in uh, replication. You are right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You are right. You are right. And we should. You are right. We should test that. Um, unfortunately, I have shut down the Maya Maria. Okay. Um, we just need to look at the file size of all, all, all the old ones. No, 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 no. There is one thing there we, where we can always see whether uh, this has worked or not. Um, we just look when has the last booking been inserted, and that should be um, should be a, a, a place. 
11.07, this was the time when the system has been shut down. So um, there won't be a replication lag between the master and slave. But you are right that we have actually missed. Always good to have experts in the room. Um, so. Im DNS. Im DNS habe ich gemacht, ja. Uh, I just come from Hanover, I get the message that DNS is already exchanged and I do now have exchanged the information here in the hosts file of the server. So, and now my script says that I have to test whether connecting to the DB master actually works from here and I do this by issuing a command. Um, minus H, I have it here actually, I can copy and paste this stuff. Um, so uh, the user is this one and then we have a password and of course I do not want to show our database password. So, and here we are and we see that we can connect uh, to a server and the server says this is a MariaDB server so we are connected to the right one. We can even have a look here now at the Zale system where we have a connection here of from the from now onto the DB1 EBUS. This is the connection that we have just done with the user DE1. So the connection worked. And my script says that we now should restart the application. Thomas, any? No, no? started. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. I see Hanover also is very excited. I will now start the application. Let's see, what does it do? Um, it sets up, it does, yes, when it is at this stage, we know that the connection to the database worked and we can see that we already have connections to the database here by the connection pool. Um, and, um, we see now that the system is coming up. When the system is booting, it is performing certain operations and it is just performing these operations and some of these operations need some time. So there was just a small pause at the moment, but that was as expected. Now it walks through the bookings and checks whether everything is okay because we can't be really sure when, they shut, when we shut on the application that everything is uh, in perfect transactional states. As we started 1997 with my ESAM tables, we didn't have actual um, 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 transactional database model back then. And code from that time is still in the system. So when we start up the system, we perform checks whether there are things uh, wrong in the database. And, but so far, everything looks good. Thomas, what do you say? Can you see his queries? I think so. Mm -hmm. you must I can see that it is querying here stuff. Of course, these are very, it's a very small amount of queries now as it does. Queries 1.4 million. Sorry? Queries 1.4 million already. Yeah, this is from the replication of the last days. So now it's fixing illegal values for charge states and and this is the line with the HTTP stuff that it is back in work. Now I start our secondary server. I want to see that both can connect and that they exchange data. There are certain mark points where I see this. Now it started. It connects, it connects to all the vehicles with the cards and there are the messages that I waited for. And three, two, one, the Apache is online again and now operation begins. So now let's see what's happening. I'm this is in. MariaDB now on production load for the first time actually. And um, yes, we have many sleeping, it's a truncated query list. And the thing that I see above here is the queries per second, which is a bit low at the moment, but this is the, the, the usual, it's a, it's a number that I expect. Actually, what happens now is that our systems come back online and the clients come back online and all the people who are working in web front ends are actually the clients um, 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 stop operating when they see that they can't get their commands through and then they wait for a certain time until they start working again. So what we will see is a slow increase in, in load. And um, so far. And, uh, good news is slow queries per second is zero. That's good. That's good. You see things I haven't seen. I just look at Thomas, who is also communicating with. Also, ich kann mich bis dato nicht in Webclient einbuchen und eine App, und eine App passiert auch fast nichts. Okay. Ich, ich bin im Management Center drin. 
Ich bin im Management Center. Okay, drin, kann aber ich korrigiere. Vor, vor zwei Sekunden äh, hat es angefangen. Jetzt äh, ist im Zugangssystem Moni vor was zu sehen. Ich konnte mich im Webclient anmelden und auch jetzt kommen, äh, hat meine App-Session funktioniert. Wir sche scheinen wieder im Charge zu sein. Könnt ihr jetzt bitte I just from Hanover mm -hmm. that they are, that things are a bit laggy. I just hear in Hanover that things are a bit laggy. And now the very interesting question is, where does this come from? Do probably, we have... probably because we had the field in Liverpool. Yes, and this is a thing that we were aware of, that when we start this operation in the first minutes, uh, MariaDB has to fill up data buffers and things will be a bit... We still have this more wieder in, uh, in normal uh, bereich. Uh, 10,000, this is 40,000. Yes, and I just hear from Hanover that things seem to be operational as normal. Thomas, da sind viele ja. Sachen bei mir auf Warte auf Versand. Ähm, ähm. Ja, die muss man ja, nochmal von Hand schaffen. Okay. Let's see. The question is whether the slaves are happy. I go here. Let's see how replication is on Havel. So we are zero seconds behind master. So now I hear that in Hanover someone walks over to our call center. These are the ones who are, who are doing the, the call service. Those are the ones which always see first time when something goes wrong. And um, what I learned from this is that so far they haven't uh, come to operations staff for this thing and uh, complained about problems. So chances are good that there actually are no problems. And the queries per second that we see there um, uh, is still in usual operation. One question, why do you have so many sorts? It looks like half of your queries are doing sort. Sort. Oh, sorts. I guess uh, second, uh, second line uh, to the left. Yeah, we almost we, we, we sort most of the queries. There are many, very many queries where we sort. We are not perfect with okay, but um, seems this has worked. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.